So if you've been driving up to Phillips Highway and it turns into Kings Avenue, you've probably seen this building going, what is this 1937? I'm super interested. Well, I'm here and I got you covered. I got the general manager Fawn here. And let me tell you, I've already sampled a couple of things and this interview should be over because I'm super full, but this is so good. So we had to get the full scoop on the restaurant. So thanks for hanging out of with course. us. Of course, thank you so much. So 1937, where did that name come from? The building was built as a car garage in 1937, um, and it's been many things since then, but now it's 1937 Spirits and Eatery. It's always those little things that brings it all full Absolutely. circle. So how would you describe the food here? We tried to just figure out what was really local to us. Um, quail is something that was very popular back in the 1930s in Jacksonville. So we put quail on the menu. You can have that fried with two sides. Uh, we've got meatloaf, we've got smoked pork chop, but we also have the very um, fresh and local seafood that comes from our coast, which is pretty exciting. So when people walk in the decor, it's like wide open. And even though people can kind of sit intimately, it's kind of got a communal feel. So people Absolutely. can kind of hang out and make friends if they want to. Absolutely. And we have a lot of friendships being built in 1937 daily. A lot of things were very intentional to honor the history of Jacksonville. So where you see the flora and the fauna and all of the insects, it's from when the Horticulture Club was established in Jacksonville, Florida um, in the 1930s. So we wanted to kind of tie all of that in together. I didn't know I was getting a history lesson in with my food. I <laughs> like it. I know your brunch is like, I, even though you recently opened, it's already built up a reputation yes. so people know to come here to eat well, but you actually have a lot of entertainment that goes with it as yes. well. Yeah, so we do an EDM DJ brunch every Sunday where we have a live DJ spinning from 10 to 2. And it's a lot of fun. It has really taken off. You see everybody just kind of getting funky in here at their tables and just kind of dancing around and having a good time. So we have two outside areas that are both dog friendly and human friendly as well. Um, the backyard has got an artificial turf, so it's really awesome for families to come hang out with their kids. We see kids on that lawn all of the time. It's also been a very popular spot for people to rent out for private parties as well. What are we working with on the table here? Okay, so today we've got our pork chop. This is going to be a smoked pork chop. We finish it with a sorghum butter and garnish it with a little bit of green onion. You've got your broccoli almondine, which is also finished with the sorghum butter, which is my new favorite obsession, sorghum. So <laughs> delicious. Um, here we have our meatloaf. We've got our kale that's gonna be braised with butter, but then we finish it with a bacon gastrique and bacon crumbles. And here we've got our South Florida slaw, which is that nice, bright, tropical slaw. It's a non-mayonnaise base. And then to have a little fun with the drinks, we've got our cocktail for dinner, which is going to be our espresso martini, the express yourself. And then we have two of our fun dessert cocktails. One is a non-alcoholic zero proof cocktail and the other one is the adult version. So this is going to be a Brandy Alexander root beer float. And then we have the Jenny float, which is a coconut blueberry cocktail float. That is gonna be a problem. <laughs> Fine. Chug it out. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> you're gonna come in, you're gonna make some friends, you're gonna eat well. It definitely come in. I've heard about the same. That's why I'm just leaving that for some other people. I'm sharing. It doesn't happen very often, but I am gonna share. The so, <laughs> so if people wanna find you guys like on online, kind of see what you guys have going on, some of your events, where would they go? So we are at 1937sanmarco.com is going to be our website. And then 1937 Spirits and Eatery on both Facebook and Instagram. Find us. Oh, I found you. And guess where I'm going to be later? All right. Y'all oh, be gone. Y'all yeah. know I, I'm sharing with him. Jana, I love you. We'll have to come back. But everybody else, <laughs> got to come here for yourself. Be gone. Bye. <laughs>